Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. We're back looking at question number 23 on our 2010 Kaylee Math Contest. Connie has a number of gold bars, all of different weights. She gives the 24 lightest bars, which weigh 45% of the total weight, to Brennan. She gives the 13 heaviest bars, which weigh 26% of the total weight, to Maya. She gives the rest of the bars to Blair. How many bars did Blair receive? Hmm. Okay. 25, uh, 24 lightest bars weigh 45% of the total weight. Okay. Um, I'm thinking this is going to somehow be an, an average amount. So... Uh, or an average. So they mentioned total weight a few times. I'm going to let T be the total weight. Okay. So what are we told? Brennan gets the 24 lightest bars. And, 20, and, and together they weigh 45% of the total. So I'm going to say let... Hmm. I want to I want to talk about weights. So the amount that Brennan gets 0.45 of T, and that is somehow 24 bars. I feel like there's something else I need to introduce. 26% of T is 13 bars. Hmm. I suppose I could figure out the average weight of the bars. Not entirely sure that would be helpful. But I guess the average weight of each of the heaviest bars is going to be 0.2t. And the average weight of the lightest bars is going to be uh, 0.45 divided by 24 is uh, not a nice number. So let's see if we can clean that up a little bit. Uh, 0.15 divided by 8t. So 45 divided by 24. Yeah, uh, it's about one one point. Oh, this should be point zero t. I'm gonna I, actually. I think I'm just gonna leave it as percents. Just I, it's that way. I'm not messing around with decimals a whole lot. Uh, especially because I'm not even sure if this is what, if this is the best approach. But uh, the average bar here is 2% of T. The average bar here is 1.875% of T. Okay, now what's left in terms of total amount of the weight? So we have 100%, we've given away 45% of the weight, we've given away 26% of the weight. So there's 29% of T left to, uh, we give the remaining to Blair, left to, to Blair. Now these bars are heavier than the 24 bars. They are lighter than the 13 bars. So their average should be less than 2% of T, but greater than 1.875% of T. Now, how do we calculate the average? Well, 45 divided by 24, 26 divided by 13, 29 divided by some number. So we might say something like, B bars to Blair instead of L. So I need 29% divided by B T 
to be greater than 1.875% and less than 2%. So if I multiply by B on both sides, I will get, uh, oh, let's just call this what it is, 15 over 8 B needs to be less than 29, which needs to be less than 2 B. Now taking each of these inequalities separately, we get 29 needs to be less than 2B. So dividing by 2 on both sides, B needs to be greater than 14.5. And then we also have 29 has to be greater than, so 15 over 8B needs to be less than 29. Multiply by 8 on both sides, get 232, and divide by 15, we get B needs to be less than 15.46. The only whole number of bars that we could have that does both of these is 15. So Blair got 15 bars. Okay, I didn't, I didn't quite know how to go through that one at the start, but given a weights and a number of bars, average just seemed to pop out. So our answer here is B, B for Blair or B for bars. I'm not entirely sure, but there we go. We managed to meander our way through question 23. We only have two more questions to go. Question 24 will be up next, so I will see you for that. Feel free to give it a try uh, before watching, but I will see you for that in the next video.